Okay, so now we're going to build the what you will need slide. So this is the slide that will tell the learner what they'll need to learn how to juggle. So let's just take a look at the storyboard again, just to make sure we know what we're going to do. So for the what you will need, there's going to be on-screen text that will show up when you move this ball from here to here. So there'll be need one, which will be ball to the left, need two, ball overhead, and need three, which is ball to the right, and it will show the three things that they will need, or the three um, lists of items that they will need to learn how to juggle. And then there'll be instructional text in the caption right here that will tell them what to do. So this is created with a dial interaction. So I'm going to show you how to do that in Storyline with this example. And then the avatar, we have her placed here in the center with her arms up and the caption, like I said, and then a yellow circle will represent a ball that she then throws from one hand to the other. The main programming considerations. So as I said, we're going to use a dial interaction to create the screen with three values. So there are three places to input text for the three things you will need to learn how to juggle. Each need will be on their own slide layer. So it can be triggered by moving the ball connected to the dial interaction. So this video here is just going to be about how to build the what you will need main screen. And then I'll show you in another video how to build the slide layers for the different text that's going to appear when she moves the ball in the dial interaction. So let's go back into Storyline and I'll show you how to build this screen. Okay, so the previous screen was the learning objectives. So now we're on what you will need right here. So I'm going to just type the title. And I'm going to bold that and then I'm going to change the color to this blue color right here. Okay. So let's just start by, we don't actually need this text box here. This, so I'm going to just delete that out and I'm going, it doesn't really matter what order you do this in, but I'm going to add the avatar just so we can place her. So I'm going to insert Carmen here and her pose is going to be with her arms up overhead. So this one and expression, we can keep it as talking because she has a speech bubble. And then I'm going to make her really large. I think that looks pretty good for now, but we can always move it around once we add the dial in. Okay, so now we're going to go and insert our dial interaction. So go up here to the insert tab. Now, instead of just inserting the dial as is, I'm going to show you a little trick, but before I do so, let's just take a look at these interactive objects because these are what make um, your online learning very engaging. So you can use a button interaction that's clickable, a slider like this where they can slide it to see more information. The dial, the one we're going to use now that we can move to see additional text and information. A hotspot where you can put this hotspot over a shape or an area on your screen that they can click on. An input interaction so they can actually check boxes or use radio buttons where they can select things or input data like this and markers, which are very useful to use on maps to make them interactive. You can use all these little different icons here to show additional information. But the one we're going to use is dial. Instead of just inserting this dial, because if I do that, we're going to have to use the actual like dial shape here like this, but I don't want that. I want to use a ball instead. So I'm just going to undo that. So instead, what I'm going to do is I'm first going to insert my shape. So my ball shape here. Like 
like that. And then I'm going to change the color. Change it to this. And then what you can do, if you go to your insert tab and go to dial, you can then go down here and convert to dial. So you can convert any shape to an actual dial interaction. So I'm going to click that. Now it's very small at the moment. So to make it bigger, see these little marks here in the center. If you then click right in the center and draw downward. Now if you draw it to the side, it may distort it. So you have to be very careful. So I'm trying my best to draw down around it. There. Something like that. Okay. Now it should be connected. So we can move that here. Like so. And we might tweak this a little bit after. So now let's um, go and format the design here under the design tab here for the dial tools. So the variable we're using is this oval one, which is our yellow um, ball here or circle. We want it to update while the dial is dragged. That's correct. Rotation 180 degrees will show the arc. So it's going to move in an arc pathway always. The start value. Now the start value should be one and it's going to go up to an end value of three because we're going to have actual actually three different points here on the dial, not 12. So the start value is one. And the end value is three. And the initial value, I like to start it so it's up at the, the top here. So that will be two. And the step value is still one. So it's going to start like this. And then when it moves from the one, two, three, it'll go like from the left side here to the center and then over to the right. So that's the basics of the dial just set up at the moment. Now let's go back to the storyboard just to check to make sure we're doing everything correctly. So, so far we have our avatar and we have the dial interaction ready with the ball. And so now we need to insert this instructional text here in the form of a speech bubble. So let's go back and do that. So I'm going to go to insert caption right here. And they're all orange to begin with. So we'll just insert that arbitrarily for the moment. And I'm going to make this white. You can make it whatever you want. This is just an example. So just remember that this is just uh, to illustrate how to do this. So actually, I think I'm just going to go do it manually here. Insert white. And the shape outline, I'm going to make this color right here. And then I'm going to insert some text. So let's go back and see what that was again from the storyboard. So the instructional text for the caption is move the ball to see what you will need in order to learn how to juggle. So let's just copy that. So before we copy this in, let's just go to home and I'm going to paste special. So just keep the text only. There we go. And then I'm going to change the color and bold it. I'm going to change it to this red color that I like to use reddish pink. And then I'm going to format it like this. And Actually, I don't think it needs a shadow. I'm going to take that off and I'm just going to move this box a little bit. Just move it up. Actually, move it more like that. And I'm just going to tweak her as well. So I'm going to move her down a bit. So we have a little more space. And you can also move the caption so you could have it more like that. And then I'm going to move this 
up just a little because I'm think I'm thinking just ahead a bit, but we might need to tweak it once we um, add the the side layers with the text just to make sure we have enough space for everything. So if we need to adjust it again, that's okay. But I'll just put it here for now. Like so. Okay, and then one less, a couple of more things for this main screen. I'm just gonna move this over like that. Okay, so a couple more things for this main screen. Over here on the right, the play triggers, I like to specify that. So let's just get in the, the habit. If we have to go back and tweak a few things on previous slides, that's okay. But the next slide will be the juggling process. So just specify that. And here, the previous one was the learning objectives. And then don't forget to save. All right, so in the next video, we'll go over how to add the different slide layers to insert the text that will go on the left here. I'm pointing and then up at the top and then over on the side here for the, the three main things you'll need in order to learn how to juggle.